Welcome back to my 100 day drawing challenge 2020. Today is day number 40 and the prompt is birds. The one thing I knew going into this drawing is that it had to be better than last year. Last year's drawing was awful. This is just horrific. This is my least favourite drawing from this entire challenge. I hate it. It's horrific and we're moving on. I would go so far as to say it's the worst drawing I've ever done in my life, not only in that challenge but ever. I just knew that this year's had to be better than that, so the bar wasn't that high to be honest. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous for this prompt. I honestly didn't know what to draw, I wasn't feeling super inspired. I don't really know how to draw birds so I was kind of nervous to be going into this drawing but I came up with a little bit of a concept that I quite like. I will say this isn't the most innovative, unique or interesting drawing I've ever done but I do like it and I do think that it fits the prompt so I feel like I succeeded on some level, thankfully. Because I wasn't super inspired today so I'm glad that I managed to at least draw something that is recognisable and fits the prompt. So I chose to draw flamingos because I love using pink colour palettes and I thought why not take this prompt that I'm not super excited for and that I'm nervous to complete like the birds prompt and just apply a little bit of my comfort zone to that so I thought using an all pink colour palette is something that I really enjoy doing and flamingos are pinks and they're birds so it counts. <laughs> I knew I had to draw a character because it's kind of what I tend to draw. I didn't want to rely too heavily on drawing birds because I knew that if I did that the illustration would not turn out very good because I am not very practiced at drawing birds or wildlife or animals or anything like that so I knew I had to draw a character to be the central focus of this image just because that's where my strengths lie. But she does have these two flamingos either side of her and I tried to put them at different levels. So one's like lower than the other, just add some interest to the composition. And I wasn't super duper inspired for her outfit, I probably could have done something more elaborate, something with a lot of feathers on or something like that, but I just wasn't feeling super inspired by the birds prompt and I was really struggling to think of ideas. So I will say her outfit's pretty simple, she's just wearing a dress, but it does have this like uh, slit down the front, so it's kind of open on the one leg. And the excuse that I'm using for why that is, is uh, what is a flamingo's most recognisable feature? It's their long legs, right? So I applied that to the character. <laughs> that is the excuse I'm using. It's definitely not just because I wanted to draw this dress silhouette on a character. And I picked out a bunch of pink markers to use. I have a lot of different pink markers to choose from. Some of them are running out of ink, but I chose ones that still had ink in them, thankfully. And I think that the colours work really well. Um, I love all these pinks, I think that they blend really nicely together. It creates this really cool gradient effect, especially with that uh, salmon pink because it's really bright. So I think it works really well as a shading colour because it just really brightens up the image and makes it look really visually pleasing to me anyway. And then to contrast the pink, I use black because flamingos already have black beaks. So they are kind of a contrast of this pale pink and this dark black. So I thought I would apply that to the character too, so I gave her black shoes and black hair, just to contrast all of the pinks that were going on. And I just did a little bit of a simple background on this one, did a little bit of a pink border and then did a bunch of sparkles in the background. I haven't really gone in and done a bunch of sparkles like this on an image in a long time, so that was fun. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this drawing. It wasn't super inspired, but I am happy with how it turned out. I love all the pink shades, I think that the colour palette turned out really, really nice. I probably could have done a lot more with the birds prompt, but to be honest, I just really wanted to do better than last year, because last year's was awful but I hope that this year's is a little bit better. That's all for today. If you're interested, there's a link to the full challenge playlist on screen and in the description. Subscribe if you'd like to keep up with me completing this challenge and I'll see you tomorrow for another prompt. Take care.